In this video, we shall be talking about interferometers, specifically the Fabi Perot interferometer. Interferometry is a family of techniques which is based upon the principle of superposition of waves. The Fabi Perot interferometer is one of several interferometers used today in a variety of fields. It was developed in 1899 by Charles Fabry and Alfred Perot. It is a multiple beam interferometer that uses monochromatic light with a wide range of applications in telecommunication, spectroscopy, and astronomy. Now, let's look at how the Fabry Perot interferometer works. The Fabry Perot interferometer makes use of reflections between two closely separated mirrors that partially reflect and transmit instant light. This transmitted light is then focused by a lens onto a screen, which produces what is known as an interference pattern. Let's start by looking at two closely separated mirrors. Here, we have two parallel partially silvered mirrors separated by a distance d, which is typically on the scale of a few hundred nanometers. From Snell's law, we know that when light travels from a less optically dense medium into a more optically dense medium, such as from air to glass, the light is refracted towards the normal. In the fabry perot interferometer, once the light reaches the second mirror, it is split into two fractions. The smaller fraction is transmitted through the mirror, while the larger fraction is reflected. Here two changes occur. Firstly, the amplitudes are changed. This results from the separation of the wave at the boundary, with the amplitude being distributed between the two waves. Secondly, there is now a phase change on the reflected wave of half a wavelength. This is a result of the incident wave reflecting off a more optically dense medium than the medium it is travelling through. The majority of the light is reflected back towards the first mirror and only a small fraction is transmitted, hence allowing for plenty of subsequent reflections and transmissions between the two mirrors. The result is many waves interfering together and being focused onto the screen, which allows for such high resolutions in this interferometer. The purpose of the mirrors and the distance between them is to create a path length difference between subsequent transmitted waves. Now let's look at the rest of the interferometer. Here, the multiple transmissions from the mirrors are focused through a lens onto a screen where they can interfere. Interference occurs when two or more waves superimpose. The amplitude of the waves and their corresponding positions at each point in space are combined to form a single resultant wave. In the fabry perot interferometer, multiple waves of different amplitudes interfere on the screen, producing a pattern of bright and dark bands. The brightness of these bands is determined by the extent to which the waves constructively interfere. Complete constructive interference results in the brightest bands, while partial constructive interference results in the darker bands. Varying the width between the mirrors alters the fringe pattern that we observe. This is given by the path difference between the lengths AD and CD, which is equal to 2 times the mirror separation multiplied by the cosine of the incident angle. This is equivalent to an integer number of wavelengths. This relates the path length difference previously mentioned to the constructive interference patterns observed on the screen. This condition shows that the path difference must equal an integer number of wavelengths in order to produce a constructive interference band. This means the interferometer can be used to determine unknown wavelengths with a known distance d and an angle of incidence or vice versa. It can also be used to determine if the light source is monochromatic. To summarize, in a fabry perot interferometer, light is partially reflected and transmitted between two parallel mirrors multiple times, each time splitting the wave's amplitude into two fractions. This results in a path length difference between subsequent transmissions, which produces an interference pattern on the screen. The pattern consists of bright and dark bands with high resolution as a result of interference from a large number of light rays. Interferometers are widely used in research and industry for the measurement of small distances, changes in refractive index and surface irregularities. The Fabi Perot interferometer was used by LIGO to increase the time for which gravitational waves can interact with light, enabling their detection.
Thank you for watching our video.